Hi guys, Top Pops here, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at every single one of my Mickey Mouse Funko Pops. So let's get started. And now before we get into any of them, I do want to mention that today's video is sponsored by Whatnot, but more on them later. And now I feel like the only way that we could start this video is with the first ever Mickey Mouse being this one right here, the original number one Disney Funko Pop. This figure is so early on that they used to just do a bunch of different characters from different movies in one category, Disney and Pixar mixed together. And it's not like Funko would do now where they would do Mickey and Friends, say Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Donald, no, it was Mickey Mouse, Stitch, Jiminy Cricket, Cruella DeVille, Mike Wazowski, completely random. And the reason that Funko probably did this was to catch up on a lot of the older movies that had released years and years ago. And now keeping it on topic with this exact Mickey Mouse, there's also a bunch of other versions of this one, such as the Pride Mickey Mouse, as well as the Diamond Edition Mickey Mouse, and this one here, the Diamond Edition Gold one. And now these four here are the ones that didn't fit into other categories. I've probably got about 10 more of them with this exact same sculpt that we'll be touching upon later. Or actually right now, because for the 90th anniversary of Mickey Mouse, Funko made an entire rainbow using this exact sculpt. And the colors that we've got is like this yellow and green Mickey, as well as this blue and teal Mickey. Then we've got this cream colored one, as well as this pink and purple. And that's not all, because we also have this blue and purple, as well as this kind of like teal and orange it's a bit of a weird one and so all of these characters here were actually found over at the mickey exhibition which they held in new york and you could also purchase these on the funko shop the only difference was the sticker and i do actually have an example for you like this one here which has the mickey exhibition sticker but the rest of them have the funko shop one and now that's not all that we got for the 90th anniversary because we also have this eb game slash gamestop exclusive gamer mickey as well as band concert mickey a pretty interesting one then we've got a another gamer mickey that came out a little bit later on in the year as well as this one here apprentice mickey one of my favorites i don't know guys there's something about the water splashing out of the buckets that i just really enjoy then we also have conductor mickey as well as plane crazy mickey and the cool thing is about this one is if you look at the mirror he's actually reflecting in it and then to finish off what we can actually fit on the table for now we have holiday mickey so yeah there was a lot of them for the 90th anniversary oh and that's not even where it ends because we also got this steamboat willy as well as a DIY Mickey where you could paint it and make your own colors. And then this one here that was exclusive to Amazon. It was a Mickey three pack, which was, I guess, Steamboat Willie, The Apprentice Mickey, as well as Conductor. And a bit of a fun fact, this is the only ever three pack to come in a t-shirt bundle. And then even the t-shirt was sick because it was kind of like a silver metallic. And now hold on guys, I've got a couple more 90th anniversary figures and these ones are a little bit bigger than the other ones that we've talked about so far because we have the 10 inch black and white Mickey Mouse as well as this one here, which was again, part of the Mickey Mouse, what was it called again? The Mickey Exhibition, the one in New York. The one that we've been talking about pretty much the entire time. Oh, and I also want to mention that this one here was gifted to me by my grandfather. So grandpa, I know you're not watching, but if you ever do see this, thank you so much. Now let's keep it on theme with the bigger figures and talk about this one here, which is also the reason that Whatnot is sponsoring this video. Now, if you guys have never heard of Whatnot before, it's an app where you can buy, sell, and even auction off your collectibles. And this is something here that I actually purchased from Whatnot a little while ago. So I wanted to open it up with you guys today to show it off because it is another Mickey Mouse Funko Pop. And so this one here is definitely an interesting one and also probably one of the oldest Mickey Mouses in my collection. Mickey Mouses? Mickey Mice? I don't know. And now if you guys have never seen anything like this before, it's the way they used to do the bigger figures. They were considered nine inches instead of 10 and they literally blew up the exact same smaller box that you would find on the three inch characters. And so this one here is the 480 piece SDCC exclusive that you could only get in 2012. And I actually purchased this on Whatnot a little while ago. So if you guys want to check out Whatnot for yourself, I will have them linked in the description down below. And if you do go through my link and you're a new customer, you can actually get $10 off your first purchase. Oh, and if you guys haven't noticed yet, this is the exact same sculpt as the original Mickey. It just keeps going. And now I guess we can jump into another weird Mickey Mouse, which is this one here. And I actually talked about it in a video a little while ago on Funko Pops that don't look like Pops. This one here is the art series Mickey Mouse. And if you'll notice, there's actually nothing on here to say that it is a Funko Pop besides on the bottom, where it actually has the Funko logo. I had been on the hunt for this pop for a long time and finally found it at Niagara Falls Comic Con this year. And when I saw it, I didn't even care what the price was. I had to pick it up. 
And for anybody wondering on how much it was, I believe it was right around 150, so not as crazy as I thought it was gonna be. Then after that, we've got some of the Asia exclusive Mickeys, with there being the Mickey Go Thailand, as well as the Year of the Tiger Mickey, where it looks like he's almost like wearing a Tigger suit. It's a bit odd. But if you look past that, it is still a pretty cute figure. And then the last one that we've got here is this Asia exclusive Mickey Mouse. I don't know, oh, it's for the Year of the Mouse. That makes sense. And I gotta say that all three of these together really do look great. Now let's get into some more of my holiday ones because I did show off one for the 90th anniversary but I do still have a couple more with there being this vampire Mickey Mouse as well as Mickey Mouse in his holiday attire. I was gonna say him dressed up as Santa and that's probably what it is but it doesn't say Santa Mickey Mouse so it's kind of just like a generic Christmas one but I do still really like it. Now we've got another pretty old Mickey figure. This one here is the original Steamboat Willie. A bit earlier we took a look at the 90th anniversary one and they are pretty similar but this one you can definitely tell is older and also very similar to the Mickey Mouse that we took a look at earlier. This one is again just in a random set of figures. Now let's get into some of the Fantasia Pops that I've got in my collection and I do understand I've already shown off some of them but these ones are actually in like the Fantasia line. It's a little bit different. And so the two that I've got here is the Diamond Edition Sorcerer Mickey which is a really nice one and I only have the Diamond Edition one because I figured I'm not going to get the normal one as well as this. It just looks a lot nicer. As well as this Sorcerer Mickey here and I'm noticing that it's not in the Disney line they actually put it into the Pop Art Series one. Kind of interesting. This one also looks pretty decent. The only thing that bugs me about the Art Series, though, is that the print tends to get stretched. And if you'll notice, it doesn't even have that much on the front because the print is, like, a little bit off. I don't know. It's still a really nice one. It's just not my favorite. Oh, and also, for anybody wondering, these here were both for the 80th anniversary. Okay, now let's get into one-third of the Three Musketeers, Donald Duck. No, I'm kidding. Of course, it's Mickey Mouse. The way they did the set was kind of interesting because it was over the course of three different conventions. And this one here would have been FunCon last year. I believe it would have been in place of, I think, SDCC, but I might be wrong about that. And if you guys are curious who the other two are, it's Donald Duck, who I mentioned earlier, as well as Goofy, and the three of them next to each other out of the box really do look great. And now finally in 2022, Funko has created a brand new normal Mickey Mouse. And I wanna show you guys both of these ones here, with the first one being the Hot Topic exclusive where he's holding a popsicle. This is something that you can actually buy when you're in Disneyland and Disney World. And I thought it was pretty cool that they added that. And then when it comes to this one here, it is a brand new, like I mentioned, original Mickey Mouse. So it's like that one that came out that was number one in the Disney line, but it's just like slightly updated. And these two here are part of the brand new Mickey and Friends set. And something kind of weird going on here, Funko never announced these. And what's even crazier about them is that when you take a look at the one of him with the popsicle, you'll notice that there's no characters on the back of the box. But then when you check out this one here that came out just a little bit later, you can see there is a bunch of new characters coming out. And now, of course, we have got most of these as Funko Pops already, like Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Goofy, Chip, Dale, and Donald Duck. But we are getting the first ever normal Daisy, which is going to look really nice. And I also believe that this is the first ever normal Chip and Dale because the only other way that you could get them was either through Kingdom Hearts or them being flocked. So it's gonna be kind of cool to see these ones in person. Now, next up here, we've got one of my favorites just because of how crazy this set is. It's actually from the 50th anniversary of the Walt Disney Archives and it's Mickey Mouse throughout the years. And so you can see it starts all the way back from playing Crazy Mickey going to classic Sorcerer Beanstalk and normal Mickey Mouse. Oh, you know what? Now that I say that, I guess there was a normal Mickey Mouse that came out just a little bit earlier. I'll be honest, I don't know why I was so confident in saying that this was the first ever normal Mickey Mouse since the original one. I probably should have fact checked that. Anywho guys, taking a look at these figures a little bit closer up, one thing that I really do enjoy about them is that every single one of them is drawing the next one. Because if you look, Plain Crazy Mickey actually has a black and white pencil drawing classic Mickey and so on. And this here is actually based off of artwork that you can find in Disney. And for some reason, Funko only added five out of the six characters for the set, maybe because of how similar they were, I'm not sure. Now everybody, we are getting into the Disney Parks figures. And I've got two more of the normal size boxes. So I think we're gonna be starting with those because the other ones get pretty massive. And so the two that I've got here is the Matterhorn bobsled Mickey as well as Mickey Mouse on the Casey Jr. Circus Train attraction. It's a bit of a mouthful. Both of these here were done for Disneyland's 65th anniversary and there are a bunch of other ones in the set. It's just these are the only Mickeys. And now let's get into this one here, the Disney Parks exclusive Disney Skyliner with Mickey Mouse inside. And I do know that it's kind of hard to see from the front of the box, but when you turn it this way, you can see there he is sitting in it. It's a really well done figure. 
I remember when it first opened up, and they've probably fixed the problems by now, but there was something where people got stuck at the top and they actually had to either like zip line them down or something weird like that because there was like no easy way to get them out of there. It was kind of crazy. And now don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining about Funko making this. It's probably one of my favorite rides in the collection. And now let's take a look at this one here, guys, the Jungle Cruise with Mickey. This one here was another really great one. And funny enough, you could find this pop at any store that was willing to get it in. And it wasn't like a Disney Parks exclusive. That one was actually one with just like a random skipper inside and I felt like this one was a hundred times better. And that's honestly probably why they made the skipper exclusive to the parks because it's cool but it's not as cool as this one. No offense to any of the Jungle Cruise staff that may be watching, I just enjoy Mickey Mouse a little more. Oh and I do know that recently that they did change some of the stuff that you see on the Jungle Cruise so I'm kind of curious is this any of the stuff that they swapped out? Maybe? I'm not sure. And now everybody we've got one more thing to go through here and this is the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. I thought it'd be a fun way to end because there is some pretty crazy stuff here and I guess let's start with this here, which is Space Mountain. We have two different ones that Funko's created so far, which is Mickey Mouse at Space Mountain. It's more of a pop town. And then we've got the pop ride where he's actually on the attraction. And now I'm going to be honest, I don't know which one of these I like more because they both really look great. And I guess this one here, oh no, he is in a spacesuit. Like he's got a helmet on and same with this one here. So uh, I don't know. I'm liking that it's like the entire ride, but then also like seeing the cars that you go through or these spaceships you go through is also pretty neat, especially because it's floating. So let me know which one you guys enjoy more in the comment section below the ride or the attraction i guess that is technically the same thing but you guys know what i mean the actual building or the spaceship and now everybody we've got these two here the cinderella's castle with mickey mouse and i know they do look very similar but trust me they're different and the only difference with these two is the mickey mouse figure with the original one coming with just like the normal colors of mickey and then the one that you get at the parks is him completely golden and i did see that funko's gonna be doing this again with the tower of terror and i'm hoping that i can get that one when it does release because it looks amazing oh and something that i didn't talk about with these space mountain figures but for the 50th anniversary ones they actually added gold foil to the boxes which makes them pretty special for the 50th anniversary. And well, anyways, guys, there you go. That is every single one of the Mickey Mouse Funko Pops that I have in my collection. And let me know in the comment section below if there's any other ones that I should pick up because there is still a bunch more I don't have. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been an episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.